Hi, I'm Margaret with Fish Monger Approved, and today we're making jalapeno poppers with a mahi fish spread. Actually, this is a little bit different than the traditional fish spread that I've made, uh, and the, the one that you'll see in our recipe on Fish Monger Approved. This has got a um, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, uh, red onion base. I've also uh, made it a little bit more of a creamy consistency so that you can stuff it into the jalapeno popper a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and start the popper. Uh, what you want to do is just get you some uh, jalapenos that are, you know, pretty decent size so that you can uh, easily stuff them with the mixture. What I'm doing now is I'm just going ahead and cut the top off and I'm going to cut the inside ribs out of the, the jalapeno. I'm going to take the rib out, the seeds, just go ahead and remove that. And don't be afraid to use your hands if you have to. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging. Okay, remember this is a hot pepper. Even though it's a jalapeno, if you're sensitive to capsaicin or hot peppers in general, you may want to wear gloves. I, on the other hand, am not sensitive to hot peppers, so I'm not using gloves. <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and stuff the peppers with our fish, cream cheese, cheddar cheese spread. Go ahead and put as much in there as you can. Um, try to push it down so you can get it towards the end because you'll notice when you start frying them, if you have an air pocket, the uh, jalapeno might float upside down a little bit more. So. Go ahead and stuff it in there the best you can. And then don't worry about, you know, making it look too pretty because next thing you're going to do is you're going to take it over to your egg wash. What we have here is a, a couple of beaten eggs. Just take two fresh eggs and go ahead and beat them. Get a nice coating of the egg on it the best you can. And uh, jalapenos, they have such a slick skin on it. So you're going to see it's, you know, just just move it around in there a couple times because of the, the slickness of the skin is going to take a little bit longer to get the egg on it. This is a, a spiced flour, lightly seasoned flour mixture that we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and shake that up a little bit. Just get it coated pretty well with that flour. And then I have a beer batter mixture that I'm going to put it in next. And Put it in there, move it around a little bit with your fork and your hand if you need to. So you get it coated pretty well. All right, now we're gonna move over to the fryer. Well, I've got a fry daddy here that I like to use because the fry daddy keeps a consistent heat on your oil the whole time you're frying so you don't have to mess around with the thermostat and, and keep adjusting it. And not only that, but you, you can use less oil, and peanut, I'm using peanut oil to fry these, and peanut oil, is, any oil, is, is fairly expensive. So you want to try to uh, conserve the amount of oil you're using, and, and you can do probably, in, in this type of fry daddy, you could probably go ahead and do maybe two or three at a time. So I've got it set to 350 degrees. I'm just going to go ahead and double check my uh, temperature on this. 350 is a good temperature, I find, because... It's going to take you a little bit longer, the, uh, the, the thickness of the skin on the, on the jalapeno takes a little longer to, to cook. We're good. We're at 350. I like to use the fork on the edge of the jalapeno. You just stick it on the side of it so that you can blend it around in your batter, but then also you can take it over to your fry daddy drop it in pretty easy. We're going to let that fry for six minutes. Put a cover on it, a little splatter screen to keep it from popping all over the countertop while we're waiting. Take the cover off to check on. I'm just going to flip it around a little bit with my spoon. Got a slotted spoon we're using to move it in check on it a little bit. It's been six minutes now, so we're going to take a look at our popper. I'd say it's done. I'm 
These are extremely hot. It's got cheese inside of it. You don't want to burn yourself. I'd let it sit on the counter for probably 10 minutes or more before I'd serve them to my guests. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one open and we're going to sample. That's a good jalapeno pepper. <clears throat> it's got the spiciness of the jalapeno. But you have the, uh, the cream cheese and the smokiness of the fish that goes along with it, which makes it entirely different. I think you'd be able to tantalize your friends with this one. Fishmonger approved. Mm -hmm.